Hello everyone, welcome you to, uh, to your favorite discussion. Today is an honor and privilege for me because I'm receiving somebody that's a, a mentor, someone that I really look up to. He's a trailblazer, he's a, he's a, he's a Pan-Africanist and a lover of Africa. We're receiving Honorable Kojo Yanka. Welcome sir, how are you doing today? Well, thank you very much. You're also welcome. Thank you. Um, I hope that we're going to have a discussion that will benefit many more, both on the continent and in the diaspora. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, we are in the diaspora, and we're so um, privileged to have you here because you're always busy, you're always traveling. First of all, I want to thank you on behalf of our viewers for taking time out of your busy schedule to sit down with us this morning. and. Uh, and, and just give us knowledge. That's my pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. So we, we usually take, um, do research on our guests and um, we use the famous or the infamous Wikipedia. <laughs> and what we had when we went on Wikipedia with our team was, was great. And I want to go through it and you tell me after this what you think, all right? So um, the great achievements of Honorable Kojo Yanka. He's a former member of parliament in Ghana. He served as a minister of state in President um, Jerry Rollins' government. He's a founder and president of the African University College of Communication. Um, he's a former editor of the Daily Graphic, the widest circulation newspaper in Ghana. He works, he was a former chairperson for the Ghana Heritage Conservation Trust. He's a former chairperson of Panafest, the Pan-African Historical Theatre Project. He's an author of 10 books. And uh, why we're here today is because we want to speak about the latest published book, which is From Jamestown to Jamestown, Letter to an African Child. What do you think about that? Well, that's just part of what I've done in life. And, uh, yes, they are welcome. I have been director of the Ghana Institute of Journalism, which trained journalists across Africa for 10 years. Mm. I was on radio and television hosting programs on Ghana TV and on GBC for over one decade. Um, I produced a TV series, a detective series on Ghana television called Inspector Bediako. Wow. I produced a documentary on being a journalist in Ghana and, uh, and many more that I don't need to add. But So we have to review the Wikipedia <laughs> information uh, and, okay, add, not always up to the <laughs> and add some of those. <laughs> but I, I'm, truly, I'm truly honored and um, to me it's like that young child sitting at the feet of, of, of his elder to learn. And I know after this, a lot of young um, African from the diaspora and around the world will really, really cherish these moments with you. How does he feel all these achievements? You know, how does he feel looking back into your journey? Well, it's been life fulfilling. Uh, I believe that the wider your, your, your knowledge, the more you also feel confident about yourself, That's particularly true. when it's about your own history and you know that you have firm roots on the ground so that you can also share with other kids and other youth. And um, that, that's how I feel, that I'm not in a position to share as much knowledge as possible with the rest of you know, mankind, particularly the youth of Africa. And one thing that struck me the first time we met in Accra was the humility. Um, where, do, where do you get that strength to stay level-headed and humble after all this greatness that you have achieved and that you're continuing to achieve? I believe that um, humility is a source of all wisdom. And you learn more when you're humble. If you're always in the business of knowing everything, 
You don't learn anything else. So it's always humbling to, to listen more, to read more, to observe more, and, uh, and builds, builds your body of knowledge. It, it helps you to now look at people differently. And it makes you understand why people behave the way they do. And it's, a, it's, it's, it's a life fulfilling exercise.